Hey, what's up guys? Steve Vansker with Total Access Reviews here. Today we've got the Pantelligent Smart Frying Pan we're going to be testing out. We're going to be cooking on an electric cooktop and we're going to be making a New York strip steak. So what we're going to do first is download the Pantelligent app and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so once you've downloaded the app, uh, you'll have a welcome screen and you'll want to go ahead and click the test this pan button and all you'll have to do is hold your smartphone up to the handle and it will connect automatically. Uh, we've got a connection here so we're going to go ahead and uh, proceed. Okay so in the search field up top we're going to go ahead and do a quick search for New York Strip and the top recipe that comes up we're going to go ahead and click on that one and this is good for boneless ribeye steak or New York Strip. So we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to press the start cooking button. Okay so on this screen it's going to ask us how we like our steak cooked. So we like our steak medium, and we know that our steak is one inch thick at the thickest point. So we're going to go ahead and hit that start button. And at this point, we have to hold our phone next to the handle on the Pantelligent. And it should automatically connect up here. Preheat the pan to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember to add one tablespoon olive oil to the pan. Okay, so we need to preheat to 380 and we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of olive oil. So we're going to go ahead and get our heat turned on here and we're going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of olive oil. So we'll let that go. It's going to heat up and uh, we'll be back to check in on it. While we're heating up here, I did want to go ahead and point out a couple of uh, nice features on this pan. Um, it is going to be a 12 inch frying pan and it's made out of a non-stick cast aluminum. And the handle here is, um, this is where all the technology is built in, the battery. So it's actually a nice thick handle and it feels nicely in your hand, which I do like. Another thing to take note of um, with this, uh, having the technology and battery in the handle here, um, you're not going to want to put this in your dishwasher. However, this is um, a non-stick pan as mentioned, so you can clean this easily with a little bit of soap and water and a sponge right in your sink. Uh, so that means easy cleanup. Put the steak in the pan. So we've got our nice uh, strip steak here. We're up to 380 degrees per the app. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our steak in the pan. I'd like to hear that nice sear. So the app just told us our heat is a bit too low, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn it up just a little bit. Uh, we expect a slight drop due to the uh, temperature of the steak going into the pan, uh, but we're gonna let this go and the app will let us know exactly when we need to flip this. Flip the steak. Okay, so the app is telling us to flip the steak, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I think it's got a nice sear on it, so we'll let it go just a few more minutes and uh, we'll get back in on it. So at this point we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of butter in our pan here. And we've got about two minutes left, uh, so we'll be right back to check in on how it's doing. You're done. Remember to turn off the stove. Enjoy your stay. All right guys, so the app is telling us we're done here. What we're gonna do is turn off our heat. And before we pull our steak, we're gonna go ahead and grab our digital thermometer. And we're just gonna do a quick test to see if uh, we're between 135 and 145. And that's right where we should be at for a medium done with steak. So we are right at 137 degrees. So it did an excellent job on the temperature. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the pan here off the heat. And we are going to let our steak rest for approximately five minutes and we'll cut into it to see how we did. So our final product looks amazing here. What we're going to do is go ahead and cut into it and check the doneness and see how we did. Um, you can tell on the top here we've got a nice sear on our steak, which I really like on my steaks. So let's go ahead and cut into this here. Looks excellent. Looks like it's a nice medium doneness, which is what we were shooting for. So one thing I did notice uh, while cooking on the Pantelligent, um, on the electric cooktop, I felt like I had to almost babysit the heat, so to speak. Um, I imagine that on a gas cooktop, it would do a little bit better on holding the heat. A couple of things I really did like on the uh, Pantelligent, um, on the non-stick surface, uh, cleans up easy in the sink with a little bit of soap and water and a sponge, so cleanup is uh, very little there. 
Um, as mentioned previously, I really like how the handle fits in your hand. It's a nice, very thick handle. And again, this works on the iPod, iPhone, and many other Android devices as well. Um, otherwise, it did a great job. Um, if you don't want to invest in you know, expensive thermometers, um, like the one in the video here, um, I highly uh, recommend you guys taking a look at the Pantelligent. Um, it's very simple, very easy to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and include the link down below if you'd like to take a look at it. Any comments or questions, please be sure to leave those below as well. Be sure to click that Total Access Reviews logo in the top right hand corner of the screen. Uh, that'll subscribe you to our channel and you'll get the most up-to-date reviews from us. Thanks for watching today guys and have a great day.